They're coming for me. They're coming for me. Oh, oh, let's get. I got a gap. I got a gap. What's up and what's going on guys? Welcome to this brand new video. We are going to do a wide variety of different things, but in the end, currently on this episode is going to be more of a grind. We got to grind our stats up and our skills and whatnot to do quests and also so we can PK people at a higher level. I really don't want to be a really low level for long. I want to really try to rush combat like I said in my previous episode. If you haven't seen that, be sure to check it out so you can stay up to date on exactly what the methods that I am doing. So we're going to do some money making. I'm probably going to do some lava dragons and then I'm gonna get some cash and if it's safe enough to go there and we're gonna go and we're gonna completely just grind out combat stats so we can first of all start working our way to the warriors guild and also just get higher combat I really want to start PK right now is the grind and then we PK make some awesome fucking content PK really can't wait for that so I really hope you guys do enjoy this video and I'll see you in the first clip Alright, to start off this episode, we need to make a little bit of money. So right now I'm with my good friend Shut It Down, and we're hunting red chins. All I've got to do is protect them if somebody comes. So we're actually reversing when he's trading me over the chins, and I'm going to run. So they're going to attack him, and thinking that he has all the chins on it, I'm just going to get away and teleport over to Varak, and I'll have all of our chins safe. So hopefully we can make a good amount of money off these chins. I'm not exactly sure what they're going for, but it'll definitely be enough to start off doing some range training, or maybe a little bit of mage training. Alright, so I'm a little bit sketched, but we're trying it anyways. It's such good money. There was a couple teams in a couple worlds where I hopped around and I found a safe world as of right now. I just did one kill and I got only eight rune knives. I only have three law runes left, so hopefully we get something pretty decent. If I get like a rune kite or rune axe, that'd be fucking epic. Well, some guy actually ran past Vedion and lured him to me, and he came, and I didn't even see that he lured him to me, and he one-shot me for 41 HP. Rip, I guess I didn't lose any items because they're all on the ground, and I think my bank might be on the ground. I'm actually going to check if I even have anything in my bank, but I didn't lose any stats or anything, which is pretty good. What the fuck, guys? I literally just got a shield left half off of a dragon. That's insane. Wow. Right here we ended up just grabbing 55 magic. That's why I like doing the Lava Dragon spot. It's definitely, it's not too bad right now. I mean, I've seen a few teams when I first came here, but I haven't seen anything in a couple of kills. Can't believe I got that shield left half, but right now I'm just doing mage and HP training at the same time while making a bit of cash. Just got 58 mage, and that means 50 combat. Not too bad. I guess I'm keeping up slightly, but there's still people that are higher combat than me. Running out of laws. I really want to get my prayer up, but I gotta buy more laws first. Haven't really got too many good drops since the shield left half. Really hoping for like a rune kite or onyx bolt tips. I guess it's lava dragon mode, but right here is 60 mage, and we are 51 combat. Awesome. So after doing a bit of Lava Dragons, as you guys see, and this is the turnout. I've got 140k cash, some rune knives, a couple dehydes, I don't even know what I'm going to do with them, I might sell them. Some death runes, some blood runes, and i got 75 laws. I don't even know if I'm going to use those or sell them either. I might go back to lavas, but right now I really want to get some combat training up. And right now I'm trying to buy a full adding a rune skimmy by man mode. Right on this next guard, I should in fact get 40 strength. I'm starting to slowly get my combat up, but we definitely need to improve it. If you have seen right here, I do have full myth, and right there's 40 strength. I do have full myth, I bought a power ammy, and I've got an anti full hum. I think I've got around like 60k or so in the bank, but right now the stats are looking like this. 40 strength, 40 attack, and almost 40 defense. I think I'm going to go for 40 defense right now. Knock that out quickly. I want to go and check out the druid thing and arty and like go and kill the ogres that are down there. But I definitely think I need higher defense and maybe a bit better gear to be honest because the ogres are going to do a lot of damage and I really don't want to be down there without a good amount of food. I definitely could get trapped somehow and killed if people have freezes. I don't have a dehyde or anything. I have like terrible mage bonus so I don't know. It really depends though. We're just trying to get the levels up in total right now. Uh, I really just need the prayer levels too which is definitely a bonus for going to the hill giants because the fact that they drop big bones. It's not too bad. Well, I'm really surprised. Even with using a rune skimmy, I'm actually getting super fast XP. Right there is 48 defense. I know I do have 40 attack and 40 strength still, but I guess I'm just going to go right for 50 defense. I'm really, like I said, I'm definitely worried about taking too much damage. I'm not really sure what I shall do. I mean, if I keep training like this, it's definitely going to progress slowly and it's going to get boring quickly. But 50 defense first and then maybe 50 all? We're going for it. We're going to Camelot and we're going to try and train on the level 30 bird things in Gnome Stronghold. Come on, please be safe. I got a staff here for plus 10 magic defense and it's safe right now. We're going to have to walk all the way there. We're going to try to take a pit stop over to Artie since it's closer and get to the safe zone instead of walking all around. I know Ranger's Guild is multi. Uh, I'm just going to keep my run. Let's misclick. But here's the Flax Fields. I see, I, see, I see you there. I see you. 
So we're going to try out this spot right now. i actually seen it in a couple of videos, and it's pretty well. We're actually pretty close to 50 defense, which is good. And from there, we're going to train our strength and attack up a bit. I really do need to get some rune armor. I have about 60k in the bank, like I said before. And do not forget, I do have that square shield. I'm waiting for somebody to actually try to buy it. I'll probably make more money that way. But if nobody buys it for a good amount of time, I'm just going to alka for 66k. Just watching some other fellow YouTubers videos right now while I'm AFK in training. As you can see here in the description, I did actually get 55 strength, and that means 61 combat. Currently, the stats are looking like 40 attack, 55 strength, and 50 defense. I think I want to start doing some attack training now, but I have been speaking with Big Bicep, and we actually, I don't know, like, he suggests that I should rush Warrior Guild as fast as possible. It's really safe there as of right now. The only thing I'm worried about is people, like, specking you out when you put the armor on. I don't even know if I mentioned that in the last clip. This is a completely brand new day, but I'm actually going to try to get this, this video out today, I think. Definitely got to try to get it out today, so we're probably going to end this video on about 50 attack and start the outro. Damn, been missing hella levels, but right here is 50 attack, and that's actually 65 combat. Wow, I've been combating like crazy, like the past 5 combat levels or so are extremely quick. Not exactly sure what I'm going to train up next. Maybe I'm going to continue attack, but I really, really need to get 65 attack and 65 strength, along with 43 prayer. I'm at 34 prayer right now, and like I said, 65 combat, it's here, and 57 HP, let's keep it going. And that's a wrap. This episode wasn't really too action-packed. Like I said at the beginning, it was going to be completely grindy and just grinding hard to get the Warrior Guild stats and stats to be able to start PKing at a higher level. I don't really want to go out PKing, smacking people with my rune skim, smacking people down, bopping them on the head with a rune skim, hitting nice 12s for the KO. I really don't know how well that would work out. I don't even have any mage death if I went in this armor. I definitely want to try to get like 70 range or something like that so I can wear black dehyde so I can wear the, the body for some mage defense and I do want to get 70 mage. I mean, what, what mage level is in Tangle? 79? I don't know if I'm going to do DT on this account. I think it would be sick. I mean, if you guys love this content, I will definitely do DT on this account and just start wrecking kids with ancients and get barrage and have a really awesome time just slaying kids out. Slaying them out and just, I don't know, doing it with my clan and... I mean, I could even make a dead man mode clan to be honest. I don't really want to do multi, but singles, singles dead man mode team, I could definitely start one, but I'm actually in one currently. Uh, FL. I'm, I mean, I don't know how official I am in the clan, but I'm in them for now, anyways. But pretty much, we're going to continue grinding the next episode. I might do some PKing. I definitely need to get some PKing out because I'm sort of getting not bored, but it's getting a little bit repetitive, just pure grind. I love PKing, and it's definitely a lot funner PKing on this game than it is old school as of right now, even though I'm having a lot of fun in old school as well. I haven't been like no lifing this at all. Like, I've been just slowly making my way there but I definitely need to con like step it up and grind a little bit harder because people are getting way ahead of me and I definitely need to be able to keep it up so I really hope you guys do enjoy this video in the next episode we're going to get to the warriors guild and probably do some PKing you never know 